Hi, I'm Dave Kang, one of the networking and security solutions specialists with Rumsey Electric. I'd like to take a moment to briefly explain the concepts behind Rockwell Automation's new security technology. SIP, or Common Industrial Protocol Security, is a new Ethernet IP standard by ODVA with the goal of enabling SIP-connected devices to protect themselves from malicious communications. This is accomplished by providing secure data transport, and right now is the only option for true secure data transport on the market. Secure data transport provides authentication of all endpoints, data integrity protection from tampering, and can encrypt SIP messages. All deployed via Factory Talk Policy Manager, available now as part of the Factory Talk Services platform. SIP security provides authentication. Presumably, there's only one of you on the planet. You have your own unique identifiers, your fingerprint, your retina, your name, your social security number. What stops someone from taking over your identity and using it as their own? In much the same fashion, SIP security can stop a device on the network from masquerading as another device to spread malicious or false data to all devices. SIP security provides data integrity. Data alterations are a concern in an automation network. With SIP security, any tampering with data will be flagged as having a changed state. For example, look at a pristine piece of paper that has been crumpled up. It will never be flat and pristine again like a fresh sheet of paper. In the same way, SIP security identifies whether or not data has been changed in any way. SIP security provides encryption. A number of years ago, there was a big push to make sure that websites you visit have an S after the HTTP. This is a shorthand for encryption. At first, it was for when visiting a bank or healthcare website, but has spread to nearly all websites to protect the user. What is happening here? The data is encrypted, meaning it is coded, so in the event it is intercepted, it looks like an unreadable mass of gibberish that can't be decoded without a special key. This is the same concept that protects a wireless network. SIP security can perform this task in communications between endpoints, so the data is protected and say, a recipe or other piece of intellectual property cannot be intercepted in any usable fashion. Only authenticated devices are capable of reading this message. Currently, SIP security is limited to a select few devices right now. 5580 controllers, Kinetics 5700 drives, PowerFlex 755T drives, and the 1756EN4TR Ethernet IP module. More device support is coming soon, but what happens if you want to implement SIP security when you have a majority of legacy hardware? This is achieved through Factory Talk Policy Manager. Factory Talk Policy Manager is a centralized management station for controlling SIP security. It models what is in the environment and how communication should work. It validates function of the model and makes sure it works before deploying. And finally, actually deploys SIP security configurations on all the devices as required. Even though non-SIP securable devices constitute the majority of what will be on any given plant floor, SIP security enabled devices can be used in conjunction with existing hardware by whitelisting. Whitelisting is based on a zero trust principle which denies all access unless specifically allowed. Since good devices are allowed, it implicitly denies everything else. In this example, here's a small system with an operator workstation, a programming workstation, two 5580 control logic processors, two non-SIP securable PowerFlex 525 drives, a non-SIP securable HMI. We want to be sure that the operator workstation and programming workstation are able to reach the controllers for programming. Factory Talk Links is SIP securable as are the 5580 processors. Certificates for identity and device authentication as well as data integrity protection are enabled. The HMI PowerFlex 525 drives are then whitelisted. The entire system is then secured. If an unknown party attempts to join the network, an infected OEM computer or malicious attacker, or even someone just plugging in accidentally, they will be unable to communicate. Remember, SIP security is not a replacement for any other security. You should still be using perimeter firewalls, layer 2 firewalls with deep packet inspection, and the Factory Talk suite with the Factory Talk Security and Factory Talk Asset Center for change control. This is intended to augment your security posture and add another layer in your defense in depth. If you have any questions or are interested in learning more about SIP security, 
head to rumsey.com or give us a call. One of our specialists or I will be happy to assist. Thanks and have a great day.